Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dave with Alum House back here with another video. Uh, we are taking a little break on the truck because I'm still waiting on those parts to come in. You know, last video we found out that we were a little short on our rear end since we chopped the frame. So we kind of made some, some executive decisions to, uh, to get some metal ordered up. And that stuff is just taking a little longer than I expected. So as soon as that comes in, I am going to be back on that truck. But tonight, what we're going to be doing is using what's in here to fix a keyboard. So my guy called me and said, hey, the keyboard, it's got a dead key on it. And it, you, you hit it, and it doesn't come back up. So I ordered some, uh, some replacement weights for him. And we're going to pull this thing apart and get it rolling for them and ship it back to them. So come along with us. That's what we're going to be doing. Here we go. All right, guys, the lighting is kind of bad down here. We're in the basement. Uh, everybody's sleeping upstairs, so I'm trying to keep this down here in the basement where I've got a little bit of space to, to stretch out. This thing is massive. I'm 5'10". This is the, I mean, it's an 88-key keyboard, but this thing is huge. So uh, we're going to just use the floor down here in my laundry area. And, uh, and, you know, I've got carpet down here, so if any screws fall or whatever, they're not going to bounce away. So I'm going to get set up down here and we'll start pulling it apart. Here we go. All right, so as we look down here, we've got, uh, here's middle C. We come up to a C octave above. And then what you're gonna notice is this C sharp goes down, but doesn't come back up. And that's the broken key right there. So it should get pushed down, bounce back up. And we've taken this apart in the past, found out what was broken with it, uh, returned it back to them just with that key pulled up. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and pull this apart and fix it. That's what we need to do. All right guys, so at this point, we've gotten all of the screws out. There's little screws all across the front. You've got some shorter silver screws that are right in this channel here. Then you've got the screws that are here that hold the plate to the bottom of the keys. And then you've got these larger silver screws that go across the whole back, two that are in here. But the crux, the thing that got me last time that I wasted so much time on is right in between this gray piece and this outside, way down in there there's two little arrows right here and you got two small long black screws that are down in there and that's those were the two that killed me last time so we're ready to flip this thing over and pull it all apart and you see it's going to want to almost start to fall apart at this point by itself now we should be able to kind of start to lift this whole control surface up and out. Just kind of flip it over here. And there's one multi-pin connector here that we can unplug. And then we can scoot this whole control surface out. There we go. Now we've got access to the keys, the keyboard, Here's our broken C sharp key. So we're going to start out. You've got a couple screws up here in the top of each section. You see they're set up in like octave sections. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out and pull the weight out. But I think, I think to do the weight, if I remember right, we actually have to have to take all of the keys out to get uh, a channel that goes across the whole, the whole board. So let's, uh, let's keep rolling. All right, so what I'm doing back here is on the back, if I use this one, there's some little black tabs here. You just have to pry those out gently. Uh, it's just got a little hook on it. But the keys themselves down here, that's what sits underneath that weighted hammer. 
And so you have to get all the black and the white keys out from underneath that. So we pry these up and we can lift the whole thing up, but then it has to slide forward. Now to do that, we've got to get the key down here, the white keys up and over a little latch. So we lift each one of them up. And then we slide the whole thing this way to get off of the hammers. And there we go. And I'm just setting the screws down and then keeping these in order. <coughs> So obviously you want to be gentle when you're doing these, but they're made to come apart. So if you notice, I place the screws up here within the section that they're supposed to be in, and then just kind of keep rolling. In a second, I'll bring you down here. We can kind of show you this board and how we've got to pull it apart to get those weights out, because this is, this is our broken weight right here. Let's keep rolling. All right, there's our keyboard. So if you look up top, these have a little cap up there. Let's see if I can get you in the best light. There we go. So the pivot is right in the middle. And as we come down, they all have that pivot, but then you can see right here, that's our broken key. So that's, that's the weight and how it's broken. So that piece just, I don't know, somehow got snapped off or broken off. So we've got to get that out. And to get that out, it's, it's all routed underneath. So I'm gonna have to take this board up and pull it off and get to that key right there. Let's keep going. got these cables that come into this plug over here. I'm just going to unplug that. Should just be a standard snap in plug. And it is. I'm just going to leave that here. That's going to make it a little easier to work around this thing. Well, looks like I'm going to have to take this part off. So we'll See where we can go. They've got these brown pieces that kind of keep all the connections firm that wrap around the board here. So I'm going to try and take the green actual panel off first. And these are yet a different screw, so I'm going to keep these in a separate pile and just keep the brain remembering where they go. So we'll get all these guys out. That's just me and the keys. All right, well, there we go. Let's take a look at the new parts. See what we got. All 
All right, so here's the broken piece. You can see the broken part right up there at the top uh, is completely, completely off. Here's the new one. And just double check, make sure that they match up, they line up, and they do. They're the same size, so that's good. And uh, let's see if we can wiggle this new one back in. Put it back together. Should just kind of pop in there. There we go. So one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one. Just checking that they move the same. And they do, so that's good. <clears throat> There's enough grease on all these other ones. I'm gonna kind of take this off and stick it on my new key here. So at this point, I'll go ahead and start putting everything back together. So don't forget when you're putting this in, you've got this brown piece that's a cable cover, it kind of presses this down. That's gonna go here with these long black screws. <clears throat> you're gonna have to get the short silver ones in underneath this black felt before you can put that thing down, but just something to remember as you're, as you're going through here. Look at that, one screw left and one hole left. No extra parts, winning. <clears throat> All right, so next thing to do is going to be, we can put the keys back on because these cables seat into the, um, they seat into the very base, if we remember that part. So we'll seat that on there. Right, that's connected. So we'll put these keys back on now. Remember, they're gonna slide on here around the weights. Boom, there we go. Now they're dropping down. winning. All right, so now we've got our screws that are back here that just go in here to hold these guys down in place. So we'll put all those back in. Uh, just a word of note, you're going to see that there's little arrows by all of the spots that require screws. Okay, so just look for the arrows. All right, so as we're putting this thing back together now, we've got this, the keys seated into the uh, outer shell. We've got our two screws that hold this cable down. We've got those in place now, and so that's nice and tight, secured. 
And the next thing to do is to put the long screws back in on the back. And don't forget we've got two short screws on either side um, of the keyboard. Good scoot this back over. We can reconnect the uh, multi-pin connector and we can raise it up in place. Try to be gentle not to mess with this felt that the keys will sit on. Okay, that looks seated in place nicely. Now we can flip this back over. And I've just been protecting this uh, movement knob over here just by resting it on this towel. All right, at this point, we've got it all back together. We're gonna to go ahead and uh, plug it in, put some headphones in it, make sure it makes appropriate noises, and then we'll pack it up and ship it back. All right, so at this point, I've uh, put some power to it. We've got it kicked on. It's just booting up. And we'll plug in some headphones here. Anyway, we've got our C-sharp key is working. Got it all back together. All of the keys do play, they all rebound. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna wipe the keyboard down a little bit, just a um, little Lysol wipe or whatever, just clean it up some, just get the dirt off before I ship it back to them. There's even a little extra residual grease here from each of the keys when I was pulling it apart. So we'll clean it up just a little bit. We will give it back to them and get them on the road. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching along. If you've been working on a keyboard, uh, let me know what keyboards you've been working on. If you had to pull things apart and figure it out, uh, that's pretty much what I do on this channel. I am pulling things apart, figuring it out as I go, trying to put an analytical brain to how the thing's designed, put it back together. Obviously, I love a bunch of YouTube channels because I subscribe to a bunch of YouTube channels, mostly car related, uh, but, I'm always pulling things apart. So hopefully next video we'll be back on the truck, back on some welding of some brackets, get that five link suspension up and running. But for right now, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be good. Peace.